doing we're doing probability kind of concepts here and we're applying you can see how that's applicable in a statistical type of analysis because we're basically saying there's an infinite you know number of coin flips right there's an you know the the probability we don't know it because we don't know the infinite set of data if we flipped it like an infinite number of times but we can test it out for multiple times of flipping it and then and then and then get our results and see if we can infer based on the whole population which would be kind of like an infinite number of flips and see whether or and so if we get uh evidence for example if you just flipped it 10 times that might not be enough right because you get if it comes out 60 40 and you flipped it 10 times you can say well yeah that's not fair but that could happen just randomly speaking so now the question comes up what is a sufficient ponderance of evidence how many times would you have to flip it right and how and then these questions come up right so how close and how confident are we uh, once we get our data? If we got 10 flips and the middle the, the, the middle point was was 60 uh, percent or something instead of 50, you know maybe we don't have enough confidence to really remove remove me from the presumption of the null assumption similar to the presumption of innocence. But if we did it a multiple hundred time tests, for example, and they're averaging out or coming out to 60 more closer then then now you're coming to a preponderance of evidence where it's like oh i think the null i think i have to remove myself from the from the null just like we would if someone says well i've i've clearly have evidence of this person committing the crime it's on tape he's right there he's <laughs> he's flipping off the camera right there you could see him as he's stealing the stuff and beating the guy up or something right <laughs> so then you go, oh, okay i think i have to remove from my innocent you know to the, to guilty okay so conclusion overall statistical inference is a set of tools that allows us to use uh, sample data to make generalizations about an unknown population so randomness and probability theory are at its core enabling us to quantify our level of uncertainty make educated guesses and test hypotheses about the population statistical inference is fundamental to many aspects of life including science economic medicine business and even politics so these obviously these kind of concepts are coming come up all the time so whenever we read anything whenever someone gives you advice or something it's usually going to be medical advice you know business advice investment advice career advice we kind of assume that they've got some kind of statistical rationale for it uh in some in some way because that's that's usually how we think of of making a lot of these kinds of decisions so it's a, it's clearly a very uh useful important tool in many different areas of life and profession